So I wanted to call in today uh, to talk about kind of the symbolism of the Kyle Rittenhouse trial, mm. uh, which is like going on. Um, so there's been a lot of violence around the country um, at the hands of these like MAGA cultists, right? I know people in my friend group who they have brain injuries, right? Like I myself was injured really severely um, by Trump supporters actually in Boston. And um, so this is like a pretty, excuse me? I'm sorry like, to hear that. Was it like at an event? Yeah. So like nothing ever happens to these people, right? Like these are like, I, most of my friends group are like middle-aged folks. And like, we're literally being beaten on the streets for years. <laughs> by folks like Carl Rittenhouse, Kyle Rittenhouse, right? Like, these are young 20-something, like, usually business majors, and they're literal fascists. And they come and they have these free speech rallies, and all of these, like, Democrat mayors just let them come. And, like, they just have been wrecking havoc and violence for so many years. It will be interesting to see if at least a shred of accountability takes place. Right. Uh, 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 I mean, I, I have no sense of what, what's going to happen in that trial. But in, in, in broadly speaking, my guess would be no, there won't be uh, right. there, there will not be um, uh, much by way of uh, of uh, of what do you call it? Of, uh, of, accountability. of accountability. Well, this is why I mean, what happened in Minnesota, I mean, why it was so significant. Keith Ellison is the AG of Minnesota is, you know, this is progressives need to run everywhere and we need to have people who are not beholden to, the, to their police forces, because if we're going to rely on mayors, democratic mayors across the country, they're completely beholden to the police force, which is of course, you know, a pipeline for these, for, for much of this. So, you know, All that in Boston repeatedly every time. Absolutely. Well, yeah. are you no, still in Boston? Right. Uh, no, I actually had to leave. I was doxxed by fascist groups oh, geez. Uh, like Super Happy Fun America and Resist Marxism. Um, they actually called my family in Jersey with death threats. Um, and so I had to leave the state after living there for 14 years. Oh, oh geez. My God. Sorry to hear that. Be safe. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you. I appreciate you taking my call. All Have right. a great day. Bye bye. Thank you. Horrible. All right. That's it. People should talk like that, though. Yes. I think more people who, who are experiencing that you need, need to speak out and talk about the consequences of, of what the right wing is doing to them. And, and, you know, whether it's the way that the right wing is like, you're canceling us, more activists should, if they can, talk about being doxxed and having people send messages to their family members. And I mean, what, every time you speak out publicly, you're putting yourself potentially, you know, putting a target on your back. And it's, I think more folks need to hear that in the mainstream. Yeah, there's a journalist in North Dakota I should um, double back and cover, but had a story about um, basically a really extreme rhetoric coming from GOP-type candidates and then got a lot of harassment for publishing that sort of stuff.